everyone, it's Crash Knife Fight, and I'm back with another video. Today, I'm doing something a little different by putting together a list. Star Wars has been around for more than four decades, and in that time, we have seen the franchise create some of the best costumes and coolest characters in movies, TV, video games, books, and comics. There are iconic looks that we associate with the Star Wars universe. But not all have aged well, and some others just seem kind of goofy or out of place. So today, I bring you the top five ugliest uniforms in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Let me add that I am only looking at the appearances of troopers and reinforcement classes in this video, not hero or villain skins. Also, all of these come from either the Clone Army, the Resistance, or the Rebels. There's not a whole lot of variety in the Empire or the First Order, and honestly, all of those looks are pretty good. And droids don't wear uniforms. So let's get this started. Coming in at number 5, the Clone Trooper Specialist. As a whole, clone armor is pretty awesome, and even the Specialist has a great look. That is, until you get to the helmet. What annoys me about it and why it's on the list is the stupid visor they slapped on the helmet. I get it, the helmet and visor are supposed to be loaded with advanced optics and imaging equipment, but why does it have to look like they raided Scott Summers' closet to put this together? It bugs me because it implies everything this trooper sees looks like the Predator's heat vision. There is no way you are seeing anything with your normal vision in this helmet. Great, you can see a battle droid coming from a couple thousand meters away. But it looks like you can't see to walk downstairs and are going to constantly bump into doorways. To me, it just feels out of place on the helmet. I know DICE wants to make these classes look unique and a version of this trooper appears in other mediums. But the macro binoculars look weird. I'm pretty sure these slide down over the eyes, so maybe it would have been better to leave them in an up position. Number 4. The Rebel Rocket Trooper The Rocket Trooper uniform looks functional at first sight. She's got a harness securing the rocket pack and some nice looking boots, and plenty of storage capacity with her belt and satchel. But two things irk me about this design. For starters, the jumpsuit she wears, yeah, it looks practical, but it also looks like she would be shoveling coal rather than fighting stormtroopers. Secondly, the hat and goggle combo. With the hat, goggles, and jumpsuit, I'm not sure if she's supposed to be a conductor on a 19th century locomotive or ridding the galaxy of tyranny. And why is she not actually wearing the goggles? I would think if you were flying around with rocket strapped to your back, you may want some eye protection and maybe a helmet. While I'm at it, Let's talk about the face of this trooper. I know this is about uniforms, but why does this poor soldier look malnourished? Everybody else in the Rebellion looks well-fed, but this one looks like they can barely carry that A280 in rocket pack. Do rocket packs have a very low weight limit I'm not aware of? At number three, I have the Resistance Officer. None of the Resistance uniforms are particularly stellar. The Assault Class and Heavy look like bland snowboarders that hooked up with Charles de Gaulle to fight Nazis in World War II but the officer stands out just a little worse than the rest. At a distance or a quick glance, you might mistake the resistance officer for the first order officer. I know many times I have plugged a teammate in the head as they were coming around a corner because I thought I was getting ambushed by a first order officer. But once you get a little closer, you realize there is considerable difference. For one, the resistance officer's decrepit headset. Where did this come from and how old is this thing? Likewise, the uniform itself looks like it comes from some unnamed time in the Star Wars universe that predates the Clone Wars. I understand the Resistance probably has a tight budget, but it seems a little unfair that Poe Dameron can strut around in a leather jacket and shoot up TIE fighters in a state-of-the-art X-Wing with a custom paint job while junior officers are shopping at a Red Army surplus store. Number two is the Rebel Soldier from Episode 4, a.k.a. the Rebel Marine or Fleet Trooper. Think about this. This version of the Rebel Soldier are the first humans anyone ever saw on screen in Star Wars. I guess we should feel lucky that everyone did not get up and walk out of the theater the moment these guys came trotting around the corner aboard the Tantive IV. Of course, 1977 was a long time ago, and I guess vests were all the rage back then, because they certainly seemed to appeal to George Lucas. A major reason this makes the list is that the uniform does not look like a soldier. Security or law enforcement maybe, but not a soldier. Just imagine if you were one of these guys facing off against stormtroopers in shiny white and black armor with helmets that look like a frowning skull. Meanwhile, you're rocking Han Solo's hand-me-downs and wearing a Tupperware mixing bowl on your head. 
Not the most intimidating image. Now for number one, the Rebel Officer. The Rebel Officer is another uniform that has a dated, less than impressive look. Much like the Rebel Trooper, the Rebel Officer is not striking fear in the hearts of their enemy. While the officers of the Empire have a polished and professional appearance, the Rebel Officers look like they found their uniform at Dr. Venture's yard sale. The light blue and brown scheme isn't intimidating anyone, and what's up with the long sleeves under short sleeves? Lucasfilm seems to like this look about as much as vests. And before I forget, how about the pocket on the sleeve? Is this the equivalent of cargo shorts? I think this uniform suffers equally from being created in the 1970s and an attempt to differenti differentiate the officers from other troopers as well as the Imperials. The Rebel, the Rebel officer is almost so bad that it's good. So in my mind, these are the five ugliest uniforms in Star Wars Battlefront 2. But the question is, would I change any of them? Probably not, and particularly those looks featured in the original trilogy that I mentioned here. Because whether or not I find them ugly, they are iconic and part of movie history. And who knows, if we all live long enough, maybe vests and light brown short sleeve jackets will come back into style someday. But God, I hope not. That's all I have for now. Let me know what you think are the ugliest uniforms in the game, and make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll be back soon.